guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can make a brass chair. I found a picture on Pinterest and I'm going to use it as a reference. But before I drag it into my view, uh, I want to use one of the chairs that Ofcat uh, has in its libraries for scaling. So I'm clicking here on objects and I'm going to use uh, this chair here. I'm just clicking and I want to create a sections uh, so I can see this from the side. And I'll open this section. You can see the chair here and here's what I'm going to drag my image. My image is not a section, it's just a, a view from a side. Here, so I'm just dragging this into my view. Of course, this is uh, quite large, so I'm gonna rescale it. So press on the keyboard, Control K, and OK. Uh, keep everything ticked, and I'm going from this point to this point. So I'm clicking twice. And I'm scaling now, I'm just moving my mouse to scale. I'm just making it very small and I'm dragging this image next to my chair. Now I'm gonna use a fill because I want to create this metal frame here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a rectangular shape with the rectangular method and I'm just clicking here if you want to see the background uh, here on the second fan you need to choose this uh, crossed O crossed zero and you will be able to see behind now the legs of my reference chair are very thick and I don't want to use this uh, thickness I don't think it's the same proportion as here so as you can see from here to here you have three centimeters I think it's too much uh, but I'm gonna do something I'm gonna duplicate so Control shift D if you want to drag a copy and I'm clicking in the same point so if the copy stays um, in the same place <clears throat> and now I'm clicking and dragging a point and you can see this window appearing and I'm going to offset all edges and I just want to go in so what I'm going to do is press R.02 this is the thickness that I want to use okay and now I'm just clicking and dragging uh, this edge uh, because I want this window to appear and I want to use offset edge and I'm just going this side this direction so now I want to crop so I'm going to use subtract from polygon and I'm going to subtract exactly the shape of the second fill I've done I don't need second fill anymore and now if you're looking at the design of this chair you can see it has a certain angle uh, this one is on 90 degrees but we're going to make something it's a bit more angular so what i want to do is i'm using the same kind of fill but i'm going to use the third geometry method which is rotated which lets you make parallel lines for example if i'm doing uh, this angle here i can uh, press R on the keyboard and with your arrow go down and I'm going to put 100 so 100 degrees and now I can go on the side and I can uh, insert a new dimension so press R on the keyboard and put 0 0.02 and enter so this is the thickness that I'm going to use for everything that's metal in this chair. What I want to use also, what I want to do is 
I'm going to drag this fill up until it meets this uh, side and I'm going to drag this one as well. You'll see immediately what I'm going to do. So I'm going to drag from this point, trying to keep it straight. So if you want to keep it straight, just hold shift on the keyboard. And as well, I'm doing this on um, this side with this one. So let's try and make it straight as well. Right. Now, with this fill selected, I'm clicking and dragging this point, and I'm going to use Add to Polygon. So I'm going to add some shape, and then if I hold space, it will automatically extend to this shape that I just created, so I don't need it anymore. Now, this is the shape that I needed. For this particular chair, I need this uh, to be angled up. So if you see this angle here, it's 90 degrees, but I need to drag this point up. So I'm going to hold shift. And if you zoom in, you're able to see if your line is straight or not. Sometimes you can see not. And there it is. Now it's now it's completely straight. Now if you see, these are a bit lower, so I'm going to drag this down a bit because I think it's going to be more. Now this uh, edge that's holding the chair, I just want to extend it up to this point here. As you can see, there's a reference line. And after I've done this fill, I'm just going to more. Make sure you have the geometry method box selected. If you want to unselect the tool, just press escape on the keyboard, select the fill, and go back to your morph with the fill selected. Hold the space uh, key and click inside your shape. And you will have a morph created inside. If you want to see what you have, just go to generic perspective. This is the morph, but it doesn't have any thickness or anything. Just select it if you want to apply a material on it. Um, make sure you activate the surface because it's not active. And then I'm selecting the gold because it's just the brass. And you can see it doesn't have any thickness, so I'm just going to hold uh, shift on the keyboard and I'm dragging and I can insert a new dimension, so I'm pressing R and it's going to be the same thickness as before, so 0 0.02, 2 centimeters. I'm going on my ground floor now to drag this morph into the chair, so Control D to drag. And I'm just going to make a copy for the other side. Now I have uh, the metal frame only from the side, so we need to make the um, pieces where they meet. Now I'm going back to my section to see the chair again. So as you can see, you have uh, a bar that's interrupting here, another one uh, here, up here, and two other bars that are connecting everything together. So basically you have two pieces that are holding the chair. Now I'm going to my ground floor and I'm going to use slab for this. Uh, my material is gold. Do not worry about the thickness because we're going to do it everything in perspective. I'm just using this um, 40 centimeters in width and uh, 2 and now I have the bar that I need to adjust a bit. So I'm just dragging this up until it meets the other objects and now I'm adjusting the height and now it's connected going back to my ground floor again and I'm just gonna create a, with a polyline I'm gonna create 
tiny shape so I can cut this. So. Selecting the two slabs that I've just created and I'm drag I'm dragging a duplicate, so Ctrl Shift D, I'm dragging this up until it meets perfectly my shape. And I'm just dragging another copy. And I'm clicking in the same point because I want to keep the same um, position. And I'm just making this one smaller. Adjusting the height to meet this part here. I'm just going to make a duplicate. Everything is done in 3D, but if you feel more comfortable, you can do it um, in your floor plan. So, there you go. You have the frame, the metal frame of the chair. I'm going to select uh, the object and delete it because I don't need it anymore. Let's go uh, in the section view to see what it looks like. I don't need the fill anymore, so I'm deleting it as well. Now we're going to make oceans uh, in two pieces. If you can zoom in, you can see that uh, the sewing is here, so it's on at 45 degrees. And I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to use a fill again because I'm going to create another more, but uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm just creating this rectangle shape and I'm going to have a bit of a recess of and then I'm dragging this point here because I want to make sure I have an angle Because I want this to have a cushion look, I need to apply a chamfer to this external points, these two. So click here, go to fill a chamfer option and insert 0.01, click OK. I think it is a bit too much. So gonna select this edge and I'm just dragging this up a bit and then I'm selecting this point again I'm doing the same thing applying a chamfer and now I'm gonna apply a fillet And I, I want to make this a bit bumpy, so I'm going to select the curve edge and I'm just dragging this up a bit just to make the illusion of a cushion. With this uh, fill selected, I'm going to the morph that we usually use and I'm just pressing the space bar, click inside and now I just have section of that cushion that I've done 
uh, select two more, activate the material, and select something that you like. I'm going to use a flush. And with shift key pressed, just drag. just to give it a thickness. I'm going to ground floor because I want to position the cushion. So I'm dragging from this edge because I want to apply it perfectly to the frame, to the edge of the metal frame. Now that I have this position I'm going to give it a correct dimension so with the shift uh, key press just drag until you meet the metal frame and now I want to drag it for 0 0.05 and enter I'm going to do this on the other side as well Are zero point zero five. Now let's make the back cushion. I'm going back to my section view. Um, I'm going to delete the other work because I can see now. Oh, I, I'm deleting the fill because I can see the more. Now I'm creating the other cushion. So I'm dragging, following this line here, I'm drawing the fill and I'm intersecting this here. So I'm just going to meet here at 45 degrees again. And this is going to be a bit extended. So it's a bit taller than our frame. And I'm going to do the same thing I've done with the chamfer and fillet. So and again I'm going to put a, a bit of a bump here with the curved edge. With the fill selected, create a move, and the steps are the same as before. After you've created all the elements for this chair, if you are happy with it, you can save it as an object. So I'm selecting everything and right click and convert selection to more. Click OK. Then Boolean operation, Union. Now you have this in one item, one unit, going to ground floor, select and go to file, libraries and object, save selection as object. This is going to be brass chair and save. It's going to ask you if you're happy with the surfaces and pens used. I'm going to click OK. Now if I'm going to object, 
this is the last item used. So click and now you have this chair in your library. Go into generate perspective. This is the morph and this is the object. And you can change the size of course. You can make it bigger, of course the proportions will change as well. But you can even make a bench. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the commentaries below. And don't forget to subscribe.